Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. We're going to go on a walk. It is beautiful. It's going to be like 79 today. It's pretty still and it just this feels like summer for me. So I'm quite I'm quite feeling good in the sunshine, but I'm walking early in the morning. It's only like nine o'clock central time, so it's not too high yet. It's perfect. But, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm walking, so you might hear my feet. I don't know, though, maybe not. <laughs> the topic today is rainbows and unicorns. Mm -hmm. So it's Pride Month. And I do celebrate Pride Month. Yes, I do. And I have been attempting to post something that is aligned and using the colors <clears throat> every single day. And I'm on, what, it's the ninth today. And I've been able to do it every day, if you've noticed, just subtly. And... So I don't know. I'm like, wow, this is quite a challenge I set for myself, which I didn't share with anybody else. Because I'm like, oh, oh, what if I miss a day, you know? And then I'm like, what if? So what? Then just start up again the next day. Uh, today I'm wearing my, what I refer to as my mermaid shoes. They're very colorful. They got purple and blue and green and yellow on them. So they're missing the orange and the red, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I'll take it. Um... So you, rainbows and unicorns, hmm, kind of feels magic, and it feels like variety, and it feels like choice. I think in the world, there is so much diversity and so many options, opportunities. Just look at all the different kinds of social media platforms, or walk into a coffee shop and look at all the flavors that you can choose from. Well, the opportunity for choice is great. Wow, have we expanded. Wow, have we changed over the course of the last however many years. That's awesome. Sometimes, though, with that amount of variety, there can also come with this overwhelm and a feeling of pressure to make that decision while you're standing there waiting in line or to, to know what you want Maybe that's more accurate, the pressure to know what you want. Oh, you're going to hear the neighbor's big truck drive by me right now. And the pressure to know what you want is hard. We put that on kids. The graduating class of 2022, whoop, whoop. hey, a shout out to you, whether you're graduating from college or high school. Whatever, whatever your graduation is, congratulations. I know it's a big deal. This year has been a big deal to get to this place. I have a kid that's graduating also. We are doing that on Friday. We'll be going to those ceremonies and it is a big deal. It's just very emotional because there's been a long struggle for many to get to that point. And for some, it's been uncertain. Yes, we are one of those families, yes. So, collective deep breath, oh, sigh of relief. Now, rainbows and unicorns. So, rainbows representing the variety. Lots of different decisions. You can make lots of choices. Also, knowing that the flip side of that is pressure. And guess what? Just like all those different colors on that rainbow spectrum, there is also a lot of different opinions. I mean, I know you're going to be shocked by that. People are actually so willing to give you advice, even though they can't seem to live their own lives. Kind of ironic, isn't it? If you step back and actually find the humor in that, it might not make you so mad, just so you know. I have found that people who so love you and great friends and family sure know what they think you should be doing with your life, even when you're old, you know, like me. Well, actually, I'm not old, but, you know, when you're in your late 40s, for example, it's like... Thanks. I think I survived this long. I think I can decide what to do with the rest of my life. Thank you. Oh, people mean well, but the advice comes and the opinions are cast upon you in various colors of that rainbow spectrum, right? Different shades. <laughs> shades. I'm not talking sunglasses. 
And it's weird because it's kind of this passive aggressive way that people tell you what they think without telling you, if this is my opinion, this is just my perspective, this is just what I think. Sometimes people don't even clarify. They just say it like it's fact, like their way is the way of the Lord. Without even saying that, of course, that's a little dramatic. It would be rather fun if people would have to say that when they're giving you an opinion or some advice. Here's what I feel. Follow me. I can lead you to the promised land by giving you this advice. Because I've never walked in your shoes. I have no idea what it's like to be you or feel like you do in your body right now. But you know what? Let me tell you what to do. It's like, when? Is that because you're so good at doing life? Oh, I should use your life as an example. Wow, what a great role model you are. No, okay, so is that just a little mean? Yeah, that's an example of the passive aggressive <laughs> nature of choice. That's what comes with all these different decisions and different variations of possibility, of opportunity. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. And it's okay. Just step back and take it for what it is. Like they say, take it with a grain of salt. Maybe we should start adding sugar and then we might feel a little better about that. Take it with a uh, little bit of sugar. <laughs> and just assume everybody's doing the best they can. And they mean well, right? <clears throat> so I guess that's an opportunity for you to love them unconditionally. And just nod your head and move along. What about the unicorn piece? What's that about? Rainbows and unicorns. Little unicorns have so many diverse meanings nowadays, don't they? Mm -hmm. Lots of memes out there regarding that whole unicorn status. Let's just begin with the fact that a unicorn represents a horse. And a horse is a powerful totem animal. For me, a horse represents healing and intuition. So therefore, healing your spirit. So we'll start with that. The unicorn piece of it makes it more mythical, more magical, and more maybe psychic. Hmm. Let's take that slant to this. The idea of what is possible. Sometimes literally the dreams that we have or the visions that we wish we could have feel more like fantasy than real life possibility. Why is that? Maybe it's because some of the things that we engage in on social media, for example, whatever platform you're using, presents to you the absolute perfect idealized vision of whatever it is, whether it's makeup, whether it's body types or shapes or clothing, whether it's music or talents or skills, business skills, writing skills, whatever it is, it, it presents this like absolute contrast of the good, the bad, the best, the worst. It's just really very confusing and conflicting, isn't it? <clears throat> when we step into this place where we want to be connected more fully, authentically to ourself, to our soul, to our intuition, and lead from that space, it can get confusing. Life can get real confusing because our brains have been on autopilot for so dang long we have been taught and praised based upon how smart we are, the kind of grades we get, everything external that we have, the house, the car, the kids, the, all of the stuff that other people can witness and see and then reflect back to us how great we are, how successful we are. Because why? Because we have a great brain. Because we went to the best school. Because we have a good job. Because we provide for the people around us, right? So isn't that just an exhibition of what you can do for other people and of rewarding the fact that you show up and do for other people? Instead of asking the very needed, much needed question, the magical question about your soul, your spirit, which is that unicorn inside of you that shows up and it's like, hey, magic. What is your magic? Who are you in relation and in context to the world around you? How are you, how are you showing up and engaging with the world? How are you in this moment in your lifetime actually stepping in more fully to the wholeness of who you are? That doesn't just rely on your brain 
and the tangible outputs or expressions, but it, it counts on you waking up as an intuitive person, as a unicorn, not just a horse, but a freaking unicorn. And imagining and bringing into fruition, which is what we call manifesting, the version of your life that will bring you fulfillment and joy in the moment. It's not a guarantee that you won't have pain because pain has a purpose to bring to you the contrast and understanding of the beauty of the simple things of life. So that then when the rainbows appear, after the rain and the storm passes, you can appreciate the options that are laid out before you and not be overwhelmed by it. Just have gratitude, grace, appreciation for the perspective without the pressure. But the only way you can do that is when you're standing next to your unicorn. And in alignment, that little, that little horn at the top of the unicorn, that is about the spine, the pranic tube of the spine. It's about alignment, alignment. And when you are off center, not in alignment with your body, your heart, your mind, and your spirit, you're missing something. This is why you're seeking and you're missing and you are sometimes getting so triggered by other people's advice or even their silly memes because you are not in your center, in your alignment. And that is the place where then you can see the rainbow option and you can choose from a place of power because you're centered and connected. And you can play and have fun with your unicorn because there'll be more than one, I promise you. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget Rainbows and Unicorns today. Lots of interesting (laughs) conversation here. Also, happy graduation to the class of 2022 Uh, and to your parents, to your family, to those who have supported you along this pathway to get you to where you are at today. We all celebrate with you in this space. We celebrate with you. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with hope, encouraged you to live your life. That's what we're here for after all in our connections every week on Sundays here on Above Life channel on YouTube. Thanks for listening.